It's possible that Lexus will never be able to make as big a splash as it did when the first LS400 made its debut at the 1989 Detroit Auto Show. Sure, the new LC Coupe is ridiculously cool, and the RX crossover sells in big numbers, but no other vehicle in Lexus's history has been as much a signal of intent as that original LS was. That's the true power of a flagship and Lexus is looking to recapture some of that same enthralling aura with the all-new 2018 Lexus LS500 sedan, debuting nearly three decades later. To re-establish the LS's credentials in the segment it once upended, Lexus is making this fifth-generation luxury sedan larger, more powerful, and more stylish than ever before. The front end, with its prominent spindle grille and sharply angled front headlights, is mostly in keeping with Lexus's current design language. But beyond that, the designers have taken a few more liberties with the car's profile, introducing a flowing character line along the side and softer, more rounded forms around the rear fenders, their refreshing changes from the sharper, creased aesthetic found across the rest of the Lexus lineup. The LS also is breaking tradition from its typically upright, conventional three-box shape with more rakish rear glass and a deep pillar that curves dramatically downward, both of which suggest that Lexus is keen to draw comparisons with cars such as the Audi A7 and the Porsche Panamera. One size fits all. Underneath the dramatic new sheet metal is a version of the same global architecture luxury, GA L, platform used in the LC, although the wheelbase is stretched by 10 inches for duty in the four-door. Lexus no longer is offering a choice between standard and long wheelbase versions, instead going with a single size to better align the LS with its German rivals in the US market, the Audi A8, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class and the BMW 7 Series are sold here only in long wheelbase form. The new LS's overall length is up by one inch over the outgoing long wheelbase LS which puts the new car in the same size neighborhood as the Benz and the BMW. And the car is lower and wider now, which is said to impart it with a lower center of gravity for improved handling and responses. The same front and rear multi-link suspension setup that imbues the LC with spirited handling is employed in the LS, as is a rear-wheel steering system. Air springs are optional. Cars so equipped have an access mode that automatically raises the sedan for easier entry and exit. All new powertrain. For now, Lexus is showing only the LS500 model, which uses an all new, twin turbocharged, direct injected 3.5 liter V6. Output is 415 horsepower and 442 pounds to foot of torque numbers that put this six-cylinder somewhat in the hunt with competitors V8s, including the 449 horsepower Mercedes-Benz S550 and the 445 horsepower BMW 750i. It mates with an iron-supplied 10-speed automatic transmission, with rear-wheel drive standard and all-wheel drive optional. Acclaimed 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 4.5 seconds for the rear drive model is impressive, no surprise given the new engine's 29 horsepower and 75 pound to foot boost over the rear drive version of the outgoing LS460 with its 4.6 liter V8. A hybrid model could join the lineup later on, although Lexus isn't releasing any details yet. It likely will use the same multi-stage hybrid setup from the LC500H. There's also no mention of an F-Sport trim level for the new LS, although we suspect it will be added sooner rather than later, 